किंग फैसल द लेट किंग फैसल ऑफ सऊदी अरेबिया वॉज बोर्न इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड सेवन एंड ही वॉज द सेकेंड सन of king abdul aziz ibn saud he received his religious education from his maternal grandfather sheikh abdullah bin abdul latif after completing his education at an early age faisal started taking interest in the affairs of the state and helped his father in governing the country He was made governor of Hejaz when he was only 20. Later on he served as Saudi foreign minister visiting several countries of the world where he held important discussions and gained a great deal of experiences. He also had the opportunity of holding the command of armed forces of his country. After the death of King Abdul Aziz his eldest son Saud became the king Faisal was made the crown prince and the prime minister in 1958 Saudi Arabia was in serious difficulties at that time Faisal used his wisdom and intelligence to overcome these difficulties In 1960 he resigned from the post of the prime minister but accepted it again in 1962 his elder brother king saud fell seriously ill in 1964 and faisal was chosen as the king by the council of ministers King Faisal was devoted to Islam. He was a good Muslim and led a simple life. He did his best to see his people live according to the teachings of Islam. He possessed great qualities of leadership and proved to be an able ruler. He loved his people and ruled the country wisely and justly. Under his rule, Saudi Arabia made great progress in many fields. He spent a lot of money on the development of his country. The main source of income for Saudi Arabia is mineral oil and he made every effort to increase its production. New factories and mills were set up in Saudi Arabia and industry made great progress. Vast area of the desert were irrigated and new lands were brought under cultivation. Faisal considered education very important for the progress of his people. He opened many schools where education is free for all. He set up several universities where students are not only given free education but are also awarded stipends to meet other needs as well. He also spread a network of hospitals and dispensaries all over his vast kingdom. Now a Bedouin living even a thousand kilometers from the capital will find a hospital or dispensary not far from where he lives. If you visit the KSA, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, you will find hundreds of Pakistani doctors, nurses and teachers serving their Arab brethren. The king helped the needy and the poor and provided many facilities to the pilgrims.
He had a strong wish to unite the Muslims of the world and did his best to bring the Muslim living in different countries closer together. His services in making the Muslims conscious of the need for brotherhood can never be forgotten. It is now the duty of the Muslim to continue his struggle for the achievement of this duty. He practiced what he preached and assisted the Muslims countries of the world. He was an equal partner with Pakistan in holding the Islamic Summit Conference at Lahore in 1974. King Faisal was a sincere friend and well-wisher of the people of Pakistan. He gave generous help to this country on several occasions. Perhaps no one outside Pakistan could be more unhappy than King Faisal was on the separation of East Pakistan, which is now Bangladesh. He was against the state of Israel because of its enmity toward the Arabs. He strengthened the Arabs in their war against Israel. He felt deeply grieved when Israelites set the Laksa mosque on fire. He made every possible effort to get back the Arab territories under the illegal occupation of Israel. This great king died in an assault by a wicked nephew of his on 25th March 1975. The Muslims all over the world mourned his death. The people of Pakistan in particular felt deep grief at this sad news. There was not a single house in Pakistan which did not mourn his death. As if an elder of the family had passed away, he lived like a soldier and died a martyr. With his death, not only Saudi Arabia, but also the whole Muslim world has lost a sincere and bold leader. He was the religious leader of the Muslims and the guardian of two holy places of the Makal Mukarama and Medina. The Muslims of the world, who have great love and respect for him, will remember him as a noble and pious Muslim leader and his name shall live forever in their hearts.